Good morning everybody. I don't know if you can see me, but um, I've just made it in. There was actually no queue, which was really weird. Also, apologies if some of the footage today is a little bit shaky because you can't actually take any of your tripod or anything like that inside. So I am going to shoot what I can. The yeah, prices are 1,100 without the mausoleum, 1,300 with the mausoleum. Um, I get here for like 5 a.m. if you can because the queue is not there. Just made it in, it's just gone six o'clock. I think it's safe to say that this is one of the most impressive buildings and impressive atmosphere I have ever, ever seen. I kind of, everyone races to the front to get that kind of money shot, um, the one everyone sees with the water. I traveled right to the front and took a right and now I'm at the east side of the Taj taking some photos and some videos and I have the whole thing to myself. So the sun's now coming up. Q Taj Mahal Montage. over to the, the west side of the Taj. Um, the sun is just coming up in front of me. I'm gonna head back around to the east in a minute. But even the mosques on either side are super, super impressive. It's just incredible here. The atmosphere as well here is so peaceful. You can actually hear birds chirping, which is for India, extremely rare. <laughs> Uh, it's about 6.45 in the morning now and the light is just amazing. You can see the tires just behind me. So, I'm just walking around these gardens and they're super, super impressive. The tides itself is phenomenal, but the gardens and the mosques and the fountains and everything surrounding the actual tides itself is just as impressive as the actual tides. 
peaceful. I was in there for so many hours. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit hungry and I need some coffee because I'm so sleepy. But I'm gonna head back to the river tonight to watch the sunset. Hopefully it will be just as beautiful as in there. So I will catch you later. So, fast forward a few hours. When I say a few, I mean quite a few. I went back after the tires this morning and ended up taking the biggest nap ever. Finally had some coffee, so I'm a lot more awake right now. And I'm heading back to the east side to watch the sunset. It is, it's 5.30 right now, and hopefully the sunset will be great. And I'm gonna show you how to get there. How to get to the tires as well, the east gate, is you follow this huge kind of path. If it's really early in the morning, about 5 a.m. like I showed you this morning, it should be covered with light, so it's a lot easier to find. So before I show you more of this beautiful place, I'll talk to you a little bit more about the Taj itself. The Taj was built by Shah Jahan in 1632 after the death of his after the death of his third wife, his favourite wife, after giving birth to her 14th child. The main building itself was thought to have been built in eight years, but the rest of the entire complex took until 1653 to actually finish. And the, the death of his wife actually has, was thought to turn Shah Jahan's hair grey overnight, which is insane. So, I'll just show you where I am. The Taj is there and the sunset sunset itself. I'm just recording on my phone so the footage from the front camera isn't great but this scene is great. I'm gonna set up a time lapse to show you what it's like but I feel like everyone down here has had the same idea. So many people down here um, as you can probably see everyone's definitely got the same idea but rightly so it's beautiful down here. Wow, that was insanely beautiful. You can hear the chimes people were making. It's incredibly idyllic down here and everyone is kind of just relaxing and enjoying the view because it is incredible. So sad to say that I actually leave Agra tomorrow morning. I'm heading to the chaotic city of Delhi and that is when I'll see you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.